negative 2, 3, 0, 4, and AB equals negative 6, 29, 4, 22. Find the matrix A. So how are we going to do this, right? We don't know what A is. We know what AB is. We know what B is. Well, notice we can create a game plan like this. AB equals AB. Kind of obvious, but it's true, right? So if we came along, we could knock out that B with B inverse. So we could have AB equals AB, and then we come along and we hit with B inverse on both sides. And now we could rewrite this as A equals, well, we could cancel that to A on the right side, but we could also see there's just AB times B inverse. Hey, we know AB. We know B, and so if there is a B inverse, we can figure out what it is from our B. So our first step is figure out what B inverse is. And then once we know what B inverse is, we just have AB times B inverse, and we'll have our A. So that's our theoretical understanding. Now it's time to just do the arithmetic. So if B equals negative 2, 3, 0, 4, then B inverse equals 1 over the determinant, which is AD minus BC, so negative 2 times 4 minus 0 times 3, so that's negative 8 times. We flip the location of the main diagonal, and then we put negatives on the other ones, negative 3 and negative 0, we can write as just 0. Simplify that just a little bit to negative 1 eighth times 4, negative 3, 0, negative 2. Great. So at this point, we know from what we showed here that A is equal to AB times B inverse. Well, we know AB is negative 6, 29, 4, 22, and B inverse is negative 1 eighth, so times negative 1 eighth, 4, negative 3, 0, negative 2. So I think it's easier to bring the fraction in afterwards, so let's pull the fraction to the front, right? The fraction there is just a scalar, so it's just going to scale the matrix. So we can scale the matrix anytime we want. Let's just pull it out to the front so we can have our matrices do their multiplication. So we've got negative 6, 29, 4, 22, 4, negative 3, 0, negative 2. Okay. So still that fraction up at the front, negative 1 eighth times whatever comes out of this. So it'll come out to be a 2 by 2. Negative 6, 29 times 4, 0. Negative 6 times 4 gets us negative 24. 29 times 0 is just 0. Negative 6, 29 on negative 3, negative 2. Negative 6 times negative 3 gets us positive 18. 29 times negative 2 gets us negative 58. So that gets us a positive 40. Oh, sorry, not positive. 29 times negative 2 got us negative 58. So it's a negative 40. Sorry about that. 422 on 4, 0. 4 times 4 gets us 16. And 22 times 0, just 0. 422 on negative 3, negative 2. 4 times negative 3 is negative 12. 22 times negative 2 is negative 44. Negative 12 minus 44 comes out to be negative 56. So at this point, we can use our negative 1 8. We simplify this out. We uh, you get negative 1 8 times negative 24 will become 24 divided by 8 is 3. Negatives cancel out, so we get positive 3. Negative 1 8 times negative 40 becomes positive 5. Negative 1 8 times 16 becomes negative 2. Negative 1 8 times negative 56 becomes positive 7. So we've got A equals 3, 5, negative 2, 7, and there we are. We had to do a lot of arithmetic to get to this point, so let's double check and make sure that that is the answer. We know that A times B has to be this guy right here, because we were given AB right from the beginning. So let's take a look. What would A times B be? Well, we know what the AB we just figured out is. That's 3, 5, negative 2, 7. And the B we started off with that we were given is negative 2, 3, 0, 4. So we work this out. The 3, 5 on negative 2, 0, that's going to get us a 6. 3, 5 on 3, 4, oh, I'm sorry. 
not six, but negative six. Three five on three four is gonna get us nine plus 20, so 29. Negative two seven on negative two zero is going to get us negative two times negative two, positive four. And negative two seven on three four, negative two times three gets us negative six. Seven times four gets us 28. Add those together, you get 22. And so that is exactly the AB that we started with. So it checks out our answer is good. Great. All right. So that completes his understanding of determinants and inverses. We've got a great understanding of how that works right now. So uh, we'll see you at educator.com later. Bye. However, if you want to check out the, um, the stuff for if we want to be able to do expanded, sorry, we want to do inverses for larger than two by two, larger than just that simple formula, let's take a look at it. Let's look at that. 